Hey everybody, another day, another game of chess. You know how it goes. So uh, we're here on uh, chess.com, trying to reach 2000 ELO on Rapid. Uh, we're a bit on a winning streak, so let's see if we can uh, keep it alive. Here we go, 1400, stronger opponent this time. Love the profile picture. Here we go. So E4, E5, in this case, I uh, almost always and exclusively play Knight C3. <clears throat> okay, here we go, uh, developing the bishop. And let's see what variation we get out of this. All right, we get bishop to b4. So in this case, I usually just put my knight on e2. In case he captures my knight, I just recapture the other knight. Um... Here, either I think the, a good move is to play d3 or castle. I feel like castles doesn't hurt. Let's have this move now, which I noticed. I wonder if f3 is okay when he plays bishop g4, because I'm pretty sure he's going to play that. Let's see. Maybe castles was an inaccuracy, I don't know. Maybe uh, h3 is the, the best move. Just playing it even on a, you know, playing a bit slower. Okay, he just, he doesn't go for that. So this is, uh, if he takes here, it's not a problem because I just take back and the bishop is not pinning anything. So I, I, I don't know, I mean, h3 does seem a bit passive. But this would be a really annoying bishop here. So what do I do here? Also, this makes sense to open this bishop. But again, let's just play it more solid. Let's play it a bit more solid and see what happens. Okay, now he just lets me do this. And I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy here. I'm guessing he's going to go bishop e6. And we're going to exchange bishops. My plans are to... Uh, put the pawn on a3 to attack his uh, bishop and then uh, most of the time in this variation they uh, they exchange uh, the bishop for the knight here let's see what happens so I am playing a bit faster than the previous games just because uh, I know this opening a bit uh, well I've had this variation a few times See if he takes. No, he goes back. Okay. So if I push, he just wants to hide. Um, how can I start, you know, being the aggressor? Do I want to play here? Well, actually, I want to play here. So um, he goes here with check. I move out the way. So maybe king h1 does make sense because I want to play f4 and then start attacking somehow. So let's play king h1. Uh, yeah, h1. <clears throat> let's see what happens. I'd say we are completely fine here. I don't see any, uh, any problems at all. Uh, moving this here. Or here makes sense. Going here uh, kind of covers this diagonal once I play f4. That move, I don't know. Here I pin the knight, and uh, it's not so easy to get out of the pin, I guess, which is also good. So let's let's go here. Pin that knight. Okay, he goes back. Um, is that good for him? I'm not sure that's really good for him. So here, here, here. But then his king side will be completely open. And I'm kind of looking that way. Takes, takes, doesn't make sense. So yeah, I'll just keep the pin. Let's see what happens here. Okay, he does go for it. He does go for it. I mean, it's a bit risky, I think. But we'll see. We will see. 
course, if he if he didn't attack me right away, I I had a knight d5 ideas to put more pressure on that pin. So um, yeah, maybe that's uh, that was a must. But now I just feel like his king's very open and his bishop hasn't been developed. Uh, this bishop, this knight are kind of far away from his king. So now we got to think, how do we start attacking, you know? I'm thinking of this move just to remove, uh, if he takes, I renew the pin, of course. So if I push h4, he might go here. Um, then I just go, he what if I go here? I mean, you want to take my knight, be my guest. Does this... Oh, but this makes sense as well, because, you know, I want to play h4, and that takes away... That takes away uh, that square. So now I just go here, I feel. I go here, attacking this, and then... This will be a good move. This, this, this... Nah. One attack here. If he uh, protects with his bishop, that's a very passive bishop. If he plays c5, then that bishop doesn't really have a future. That, that sounded like so mean. <laughs> uh, but you know what I mean. That's a, that's a bad bishop, if I if I may say so. My bishop is great. Uh, so anytime I have this pin, I'm thinking about the g6 square. If I can get there with a check, he can't take, and then it, it could get ugly. But right now, I just want to play f4 and open up my rook and open up everything, honestly. Threatening to do this. Also, my queen wants to be here, but the knight's there. So h4, and then kind of getting rid of the knight, putting my queen in here makes uh, makes sense to me. I'm up on time in this game, surprisingly. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting a little bit more used to just talking out loud and uh, uh, playing decent moves. Let's see. I'm, I keep getting distracted by his profile picture. <laughs> Maybe that was his tactic. Um, so taking here, he'll take here. And then I don't want to give up my bishop, of course. That's a strong bishop. But here, here, and then queen gets in there. Seems pretty, uh, it's pretty good. Even here, here, here. His knight's looking at the dark squares. And uh, let's see, does he have any good discoveries here? Not that I see. Also, I'm. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna take. He's obviously gonna take. I'm gonna take. And then I'm looking to do this. If he, if he goes here after attacking, ah, uh, he's protecting this. Okay, so if I go here, knight f4, I don't have my idea of going here because, oh, well, I take, he takes, and I have this check. Okay, no, so that's, I feel that's okay. Otherwise, it's a knight for a knight, and I'm up a pawn. Okay, let's see what happens. Up a pawn, baby, let's go. Oh, I said the queen here check, but <clears throat> oops. So no, queen's not going to g4, going to h5. Also, if my queen's on h5 and his knight moves, then hello, that'll be a problem for him. That doesn't make any sense at all. Now his knight is pinned. Can't even move it. Now I'm going here. Now I'm going here. I mean, I'm going here for sure. I don't care that you're trapping my bishop. I'm just, just attacking. Hmm. This is a forkaroo. 
for Karuski right there. Sorry, right here. But it's too too well protected. Thinking of sacrificing at this point. Playing f4 makes sense as well. Actually, I like I like f4. Here, here, my knight's unprotected. I take, he takes. Okay, let's think about this. Uh, F4, knight takes. I take, he takes. I take, and then, I mean, that has to be good. Have to be careful of this diagonal. Just in case, I don't want. Uh, I don't want to forget about that. Right now, this square is covered. Also, knight takes. Knight takes. Bishop takes. 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 And then can go there. It's looking good. Can't lie. That one I did not see. But that's a problem, I think. Bing. I mean, if I don't give this check, I'm a, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'd rather... I'll give up my rook for the attack. No question. But I wish this bishop wasn't here. If this bishop wasn't here, I'm threatening the checkmate, you know. And then his knight also protects the square now. I want to take here to take here. Because if he takes... Ah, he takes a check. So take here. I have to take. But... Maybe this is one of those moments where you have to be patient. Also here, he'll go here. And I don't like that. But then my... It's rock. No, I'm not. What am I talking about? Here, he can't take because I take. Yeah. I feel like this makes sense. Once again, let's calculate. So, pawn takes g5, knight takes f1. Threatening to take with a check. So I take. We give up the exchange, but then he takes. Mm. Pawn goes there. All right, let's go for it. I must have enough. I mean, look. Look at this. I must. Looking at this, maybe. I go here. Threatening the pawn. Don't want to get my queen out of the way. Like the threat is either probably to take here for threatening the mate. Pushing as well, threatens a mate. Pushing makes sense. I don't know. It's one of those positions, you know, where it's very, very double-edged. I have to move. This looks like a move that I should play. And I will. And I will, sir. Just so, yeah, he can attack my bishop. Gonna go for this pawn or even this and threaten the mate. So I can do this and then he takes, like, it's an in between move, I guess. Good thing is now. Did I have that on the previous move? Am I, am I an idiot? I had a mate. Oh boy, let's see. That's 
that's a miss and a half. Darn. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you don't. Cause I, what I should have done is thought about when he moves the rook. What squares that he stop does he stop protecting? Because I just completely blanked on this move right now. That sucks. I completely forgot about this bishop. Okay, so now, now playing this makes sense, right? Check. He has to block with a rook. <sighs> I think we get the win. Even if it blocks with the rook. Oh no, if he blocks with the rook, then this is mate. No, no, it's not, because the queen is in this now. Not very sharp today, but I, st I still think we're doing okay. We're doing okay here. This is a big threat, but he's in check. Damn. Strong bishops. Basically, that's, that's why I'm winning this game, is because of the bishops. <laughs> that's a... That's an exciting game though. I, that was that got tactical fast, you know. Okay, so yeah, we have to go for this. He sacrifices and this is mate. Yeah. Let me just I'm not missing anything there. Can't take no sneaky sniper bishops. So this is just checkmate. That was nice. That was nice. I like that game. That was like a 22, 23 move game. 24. Uh, I can't believe I, I missed that that bishop there. Let's just let's let's do a quick game review and see what it says. But uh, yeah, that was that was a miss. We do get a lot of points though. Ooh, got a brilliant move. Oh baby, let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Okay, this is pretty standard, as I said. This is says it's an inaccuracy, but I've seen a lot of people play this. Yeah, that was a good move. Best move. Taking out the bishop. Opening kind of iffy for both, I'd say. Okay, this is a mistake. Does he want me to take? Ah, he wants me to take and play knight d5, I suppose. Let me see. This is interesting. F4. So if he takes, we take. Is that the idea? Let's see. Here. Here. Knight h7. Bishop takes. Bishop takes f7. Oh. That, but that's that's computer. That's computers for you. Uh, oh. Uh, playing f4 to open up the rook and then have this attack, uh, sacrificing the bishop in the uh, in the middle of it. But nah, I mean, that's a bit too advanced for me. Okay, so that was right, and that's a mistake. So I do a great move and then I do a mistake. This first. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then here, yeah. He let me get in there with a the queen and that's, it's no bueno. F4 is a good move. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. That's a brilliant. That's very surprising. I mean, I mean, of course the idea is to open up this bishop and just give up the rook and just go for the attack. So I guess my in-between move was justified, so I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Also, it says I played uh, at the 1850 rating level, which is a compliment. <laughs> um, so thank you, chess.com. And then, yeah, I mean, how can I miss this mate? It's just, it should be five check. It's a shame. So what we gotta do is always look for checks. You know, a lot of people say this, but it's so true. Always, always look for checks. And I I was too busy, you know, thinking about other stuff, I guess. 
always should always look at all my pieces and how they're coordinated and uh, yeah but I mean after this there's just little he could do and then checkmate not even taking the queen don't need your queen got a checkmate that's a pretty good game if I say so myself we got a brilliant we got uh, two great moves got very messy uh, very tactical and uh, pretty short as well that's most of my games tend to go on the longer side, but uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed as well. That was um, that was a lot of fun for me. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Pretty happy with that game. I don't get a brilliant on every game, so uh, it's nice to get your first brilliant on this uh, journey that I am doing until I reach 2000. I really appreciate everybody who comments on my videos, who likes them, subscribes, uh, watches them. So. Thank you so much, guys, and uh, I'll keep uploading every day, and um, I'll see everybody tomorrow. Peace.